we're going to make it memorable for you um, in a positive way. Uh, for, our, for us to get started, we just need a suggestion of a location, a non-geographical, like a bus stop, or a Arby's, or a, something on those lines. A bookstore. A bookstore, thank you. Oh, 
crazy, but I'm going to rip my nutsack off and just throw it at the table.
There's already a nine. <laughs> Probably has a heart attack. 
15 minutes before closing. That's right on time. Right before regional manager. But right before Christmas? Yes. I won't even be able to buy your mother a good gift now. Like, I'll buy mom a good gift. Oh. Because I'm a good son. Oh, but you'll upstage me. I know. And I can't even get anything for you or, or you know, have Lisa's scoliosis fixed. <laughs> or add to her hairline. You had 40 years to fix her scoliosis, and you did it. I've been and working in a store. <laughs> It was the sent in the military. It wasn't rich. I'm not a rich man, Roger. Dad, we don't want to hear your excuses anymore, and I'm not here to make this a big family deal, okay? When you had this store, the numbers weren't going very well. And when I got to my post as a regional manager, I said, just give my dad five years to turn the store around. And <laughs> All right. Got a tough one for you. Do you want to see my badge? Look, you do you want to see my badge, buddy? <laughs> I need you to turn over to this Barnes & Noble. Look familiar? 246. 246. <laughs> That's my father's Barnes & Noble. Close it! <laughs> or turn it around, I guess. But if it's not turned around, close it. Close my father's bookstore? Is this why you recruited me to be regional manager? <laughs> I could have recruited anybody, okay? What? You can't do it? I'll get someone else. I'll do it. Yeah. Oh, God, 246. What a misery. Well, Roger, couldn't you have made another excuse for your old man? It's time for you to get out, all right? You don't spend enough time with mom, you spend too much time in this bookstore, and yeah, this is a failing bookstore, but I think you need to spend more time with mom, and you need to spend more time with your family, and it's about time you do that. You gonna break the news to Franklin? He doesn't have any, he's not very employable. <laughs> you can give him a retirement package, if he doesn't have to spend all of his time here, he can spend time with his girlfriend, who he's been seriously dating. Roger, do you know who his girlfriend is? Yes, she's my sister. We've met and had dinner several oh. times. Oh. 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 This place is awesome. What a great wreck. This. Mm. <laughs> They're in love. And you need to embrace oh. it. And if getting you out of this store Franklin to retire is what's oh. going to make that happen. That's what's going to happen. Oh, can't let that slide a little. Think of every man. Think of every man in the world, and then think of your daughter. Who's better than Franklin? Is it all right if I take these books since you guys are closing? And everything? No, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Thanks again for the hospitality over all these years. Thanks for the badges, Robert. <laughs> Roger, I can't help but take this personal. Like, you've had it out for your old man this whole time. Like, ever since I grounded you and took away the landline, and you would say, oh, I'm gonna get it back. Or, like, the time that I wouldn't give you your first car because I couldn't afford it. Or maybe it was the time that I drove you across state lines and tell your mother to buy some alcohol. I mean, what about me as a bad dad? It's not about you. Oh, it's about us. Us? Yes. Like I said, it's time for you to spend time with your family. Just let this place go. But if that's the way it is, that's the way it is. Merry Christmas. <laughs> well, I am glad the family is here to see me in my new Gucci suit because of that retirement package. Thank you. I just got dumped. You got dumped? Hardcore! I got dumped by my little boy here. He's <laughs> dumping me for retirement and dumping me into retirement. You know what she said? What? She said, I know what's going on between you and the cat. 